Alright everybody, so let's get right into the design of the Burton Deuce 2012 model. Um, I think the design is a really unique way they did it, because <clears throat> there's a lot of things you wouldn't pick out that are really nice on this board, like, <clears throat> I'll begin with one thing I didn't notice from the beginning. On both ends, here let me pull this into the light, on both ends there's this skull, and then you notice right on the tip of the skull there's a tarantula which I found to be pretty pretty cool and then when you take it to the other side and look at the same thing because it's like supposed to be the same looking thing there's a snake instead of a tarantula and he's gone through his eye and there's a bunch of stuff you wouldn't notice like a feather right there and there's just a bunch of stuff that I think is really cool and then right in the middle it tells you Burton Deuce 153 wide and that's because my board's wide because I have big feet. And then 153 is the size of the board. Other than the design on the board, I found another really feature that's another really cool feature that's really nice on this board. I don't know if it's on other boards, but right on here and here, and you don't have to put like a foot grip because it's sticky by itself, which I found pretty interesting. So that I don't have to mess up the design on my board. So that's pretty cool. And other than the board, I put nice Rome bindings on here. They're nice black and white bindings. I love them. They got this self molding toe um, clamp. Alright, so let's talk about the bottom of the board. This is the bottom of the board. Just nice IIX. Or IIIX. And then it's got the same nice skull with the snake coming out, and it has like a Burton little thing right there. And then the same with the tarantula on the other side, as you can see. It's got nice, these are actually meant to be there, those aren't scratches, so. I got some scratches though from like boxes and rails and stuff. I'm not positive what IIX or IIIX means in Roman numerals. If any of you guys could just comment and tell me, that'd be awesome. Okay, now I'm just going to show you guys a little live clip of myself, a little poor clip, just to see the board in action. So, here we go. Alright guys, we're just going to do a little flex test before we end this. And from my experience, this board isn't the most flexible board I've used or I've seen because my brother has a Garage Rocker Rome SDS board. And uh, it's really, really flexible. It's a softy. But anyways, I'm just going to show you guys really quick a little flex test. So, this is just with my hand, and you can see it's bending quite a lot. So It's got some nice flux, but it's not incredible. Yeah, that's it. It's got, I'd say mid flux. It's not super tough, but you know, it's got nice. So, this is gonna end uh, my uh, review on the Burnt Burton Deuce, my bad. So, please take a second to rate, and if you like, please hit the like button. Thank you.